y'all this lobster is huge and full of meat and it's time to cook this big boy look at all that meat hanging out i'm gonna chop it up real small y'all see it it's huge Hello, hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Vonda Hopkins I Choose. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button, like, share, and also comment. And don't forget to tell a friend. On this channel, we talk about life and prosperity. So, what do I have in front of me? This is what I purchased when I went to the store tonight on this good Saturday. Um, I needed a few items to go with the meal prep that I'll be doing tonight. So, I got some fresh cut carrots, sliced. And then I have some cucumbers and a watermelon. If you can tell, it's really small, and I'm so happy about it because I don't want it, like, you know, when you buy a big ones, since it's just me, I don't want it to go to waste. So this is the perfect size, and tomorrow I'm going to cut it up um, as well. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it tonight because it's so late. And then I also have some peaches. Like, y'all, the peaches at Publix have been so good right now. And I think it's because it's their season, so they've been really, really, really fresh. So if you haven't had any peaches, you definitely want to get you some because they're great for snacks. You can just cut them up, and they are cold, and oh, it's so good and juicy right now. So I'm loving it. I'm going to the store. Like, every time I go to Publix, I'm picking up peaches. And then I actually got the noodles as well that I'm going to cook, the tricolor. So, um, it's going to look good. I'm going to show y'all something new. I don't know if y'all know how to do this salad, but I'm also going to add shrimp, and then I'm going to add lobster. The lobster that I showed you that I purchased from Sam's Club. So, I'm going to chop it up real nice. So, let's go ahead and get started. I'm ready, and I'm excited. And, you know, usually when I meal prep, I usually don't eat, but tonight I will be eating. And I'll also be adding the tiny dressing on it. So, I'm going to just walk you through it. Thank you so much for watching my video and just joining in on this weight loss journey with me slash discipline. Like this is all about discipline, not just losing weight, but creating a lifestyle, a new lifestyle for me to where I'm more consciously aware of what I'm eating. And I want to tell y'all today as well that, you know, on this process, it hasn't been like super easy. Right now, I have lost 17 pounds and it's because of my mindset. So when I went to Publix tonight, it was late, right? So um, with it being late, I have been working all day today. So I went into, it was a bad idea to go in there hungry because you will start seeing so much stuff that you want to pick up and just eat. So um, I seen some cake and I almost picked the cake up. It was like the cake was sticking to me. It was like, listen, don't I look delicious? You haven't had me in a while. I'm only one slice. And I was like, no, no, no. I can't get in. It's not going to happen. So be very mindful when you go into the grocery store and just like really making sure that you're not hungry and that your mind is strong enough to withstand the, the temptations. And also the withdrawals because, you know, your mouth will start wanting that sugar because you haven't had it in a while. So I just wanted to share that as well and let you know that this is not an easy process, but it's definitely going to help you. Your mind has to be transformed. You have to make up a decision in your mind that you just completely sold out. You're not going back. And you ought to be all into it. So I'm just I'm just happy that and proud of myself that I did pick it up because in times past, I would slipped that thing right up in my cart and went to care and been like it's okay it's okay don't worry so that's what i have so y'all let's go ahead and get started i'm talking too much i'm boiling some water and i also seasoning i put a little bit of olive oil a little bit of obey complete seasoning and a little of the creole seasoning just a little bit you do not need that much seasoning in your pot because it's um you just 
see a little bit of flavor wise like boiling because after I take this out of here I'm actually going to put it inside of the salad so there's going to be Italian dressing on top of it so you only need a little bit okay you don't want to overdo it or have it too salty so that's why I want it to come let y'all know just put a little bit of seasoning in the pot I just put on another pot with some avocado oil so that my noodles can start boiling right now I'm cutting up the second cucumber and I just put the pasta inside of the boiling water and I'm just gonna let that go ahead and start cooking while I'm cutting up the seeds. The lobster and shrimp is done. So as you can see, we have a strainer right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain this water off. Drain it off. Strain it. Alright. So there's our shrimp and our lobster. So we're gonna cut this up into small, small pieces, okay? I bet like, some of y'all like, what is she making? Y'all trust me on this one. It's gonna be delicious. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna begin to do is just cut the shrimp up. I'm just doing like in two pieces like that and put them in there. Now it's time for us to open up the lobster. So before I put the lobster in, I actually cut it down the middle so that it could be easy to come off and I didn't have to really fight with it. Whew. Because the ends are very sharp. It's very sharp. So we just wanna open this up and it's still hot. Our noodles are finally done and when the noodles are done you want to put them in the strainer and make sure you drain all of the water off of them and then you turn on the cold water to rinse them down so that they're cold when you do this process okay so you don't want them to be hot you want them to be cold okay so like room temperature so they're good like I don't feel no heat within them okay so the next step is just to add everything else in. So I'm putting in my cucumbers, okay? Then I'm gonna go ahead and add the shrimp and the lobster in. Yummy! And then I'm going to add my carrots. So you can also add whatever else you would like to add. So some people add turkey meat, some people use um, tomatoes, I don't like tomatoes. So if you like tomatoes, you can add your tomatoes. If you like onions, add your onions. If you want peppers, like whatever you want that you like, add it in there. Yo, this is about to be fire. And the last step is to add dressing so I have some Italian fat free dressing and I don't want to put it so I'm not gonna put too much in there but you do need some in there so it can be like juicy or whatnot okay so 
I'm putting in here and then I'm going to shake it up. And remember, this is just a meal for every day. So I'm also working out in the morning and also in the afternoon. So if you know you're not really working out and stuff, uh, you might need to watch how much you're eating as well. Like, or what you're eating. I feel like doing this process, I have stayed away from the carbs and the sugars and the sweets and stuff like that as much as I could as possible. But I noticed that sometimes during the day I get drained when I work out two times a day. And I be feeling like I need more food, like I need like more energy, like I just use everything again. But that's enough right there. You, you're not going to need to eat any more seasoning. Like that would be just enough. Okay, so y'all see it, it looks good. I just wanted to flip the camera around. So that y'all can see it. Now y'all see what I was doing. Now y'all got the process. That didn't look good. That didn't look good. I'm gonna eat good tonight. I'm only gonna eat a little bit though. And make me a little bowl and then I'm gonna meal prep. That's the end of this video. And here's our meal prep. So I'm gonna prep the snacks and the fruit tomorrow because it's late. And I just want to take my time with doing it. I don't want to rush. So that's it for tonight. So we have this pasta salad with carrots, cucumbers, lobster, and also shrimp. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you. Make sure you tell a friend. Guess what? All the dishes are washed. And like I told y'all, it's 11.38. And... I have my dinner right here, so I'm just gonna eat a little bit of the pasta. And I also, once I take a shower, I'm gonna come back out and drink a cup of water and ginger. And I'm also gonna add that into my video just to let y'all know what to do. So um, yeah, I just add that into the video. I think I already talked about it. But just drinking it in the morning and then also in the evening, two times a day, will keep like inf the inflammation down. If you have any type of inflammation or swelling, and it's also really, really good for your body and it burns off fat as well. So water and ginger is really, really good for you. And y'all can see my dishes all clean and washed. Woo -woo. So, you know, we're saving time. So the next couple of days four meals i'm not gonna have to worry about cooking and i don't i can stay out of this kitchen and just grab my food and go so i'm excited about that so you definitely want to make sure that you just take time out to meal prep and get it over with y'all can see that meal did not take us long it probably took a good hour and it took longer because of the fact that i was recording with y'all on the phone it wouldn't have took me that long but i had kept stopping and setting up the camera and stuff like that but I love you and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Today I will be taking a piece of this ginger and adding it to my boiling water that I'll be drinking in the morning and also in the evening. So I'm just about to cut a piece of this, chop it up, put it in the boiling water and then I'll strain it and sip on it so that it can help with my digestive system. So, yep, let's get it. So I cut the edges off and then I chopped it up and put it in the pot. So now I'm about to boil it. Now that it's done boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna strain it and I'm going to put it in my cup and sip on it.